Question 5 says the number is chosen at random from Q equal to 1, 2, 3 to 10. Find the probability that the chosen number is either a prime factor of 42 or a multiple of 3. To solve this question, we need to get the prime factors of 42. So 42, so we are going to divide 42 by the prime number. So 2 into 42 will give us 21. 3 can go 3 into 21 is going to be 7. 7 into 7 will be 1. So 42 is equal to, this will be, 2, 3, and 7. So these are the prime numbers of 47. Now, you need to note that our Q is equal to what? Our Q is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay? Then um, I want you to know multiples of 3, multiples of 3 in between 1 to 10 is going to be 3, 6, and 9. Okay, now the question says, find the probability that the chosen number is a prime factor of 42 or a multiple of 3. So, the first thing we need to do is the probability of choosing, um, the probability of choosing prime factor of 42. Okay, so now in 1 to 10, we have... Um, there's 2, there's 3, there's 7. And it's appearing, this is 1, 2, 3. Out of a total um, of 10 possible outcomes. So this is going to be 3 over 10. Okay, then the probability of getting factors of 3. It's going to be what? Now, we have 3, 6, 9. And it, it appears 3, 6, 9. So it's still going to be what? 3 over 10. Okay, from here, factors of 42 that's prime factors of 42 and factors of 3 now let's compare when you check the prime factors prime factors of 42 it's 237 and the multiples of 3 are 369 what is common in between both of them so the prime factors of 42 are factors of 3 what is common in it it's what now, this means that the probability of prime factors of 42 and factors of 3 will be, this is the only element, that's 3. So, there's just one item out of 10. So, this will be, the probability will be what? 1 over 10. So, from here, we cannot say the probability of whether it's probability of fa prime factor of 42 or factors of 3, it's going to give us, this will be 3 over 10 plus 3 over 10 minus the probability of, um, minus the probability of factor of 42 and factors of 3, which will be 1 over 10. So this is going to give us, 3 plus 3 is 6, and minus 1, this is going to be 5 over 10, which will give us 1 over 2. Since the base are all equal, we cannot evaluate um, the numerator. So our final answer is 1 over 10. 5B says if 1, 1, 0 base x is equal to 1, 0, 2, 0 base 4, find the value of x. Now, to solve this question, um, the first thing you need to do is um, represent your numbers. So this is base x. This would be 1, 0, 2, 0, base 4. Now, count from here to the left hand side. This would be 0, this would be 1, this would be 2. Here will be 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, now, so to expand it, we're going to do 1 times x all raised to the power 2, which is this 2 here, plus... Um, this will be 1 times x or to the power 1 plus 0 times x or to the power 0, which is equal to, this side is going to be 1 times 4 raised to the power 3 plus 0 times 4 raised to the power, um, that will be 2 plus 2 times 4 raised to the power 1 plus 0 times 4 raised to the power 0. Okay, so 1 times x squared is going to give us x squared plus... 1 times x raised to the power 1 will give us x, plus this is going to give us 0, so we are not writing this 
and this is 1 times forest pottery. Forest pottery will give us um, 64 plus this is 0. So this is 2 times forest power, well, which will give us an 8 plus 0 times anything is going to give us 0. So now we have our equation reduced to this format. So this is going to be x squared plus x, which is equal to 64 plus 8. It's going to give us um, 72. So this is going to give us um, x squared plus x minus 72 is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation we can solve. So we are going to be using um, the factorization method. I believe you should have understood the factorization method. If you don't, you might need to review your math textbook to understand it. Now, to get our factors, we'll be looking for factors of um, 72. And that will be, um, I think the two factors we'll be using will be 8 and 9. Because 8 times 9 is going to give us 72. That's 8x and 9x. So we'll be adopting, um, um, this will be positive and this will be negative. So well, we'll have um, 9x minus 8x is going to give us positive x minus 8x times 9x is going to give us minus 72. So we will use, um, this will now be x squared, this will be plus 9x minus 8x minus 72 is equal to 0. Now notice from my equation, you will notice that um, 9x subtract 8x from 9x, you get back your x. So nothing has actually changed. So factorizing, we're going to have um, x here into x plus 9 into minus 8 is common. This will bring out x plus 9 again, which is equal to 0. So from here, we'll have um, x minus 8, and we'll have x plus 9 appearing twice. So we are going to take 1, which is equal to 0. Okay, so from here, we can say x minus 8 is equal to 0, or x plus 9 will be equal to 0. So from here, we'll say x will be equal to 0 plus 8, therefore x is equal to 8 here. Or you say x is equal to 0 minus 9, collecting like terms, and x is equal to minus 9. But if you notice, we are solving a binary question, and from our review, our binary review, you can't have a negative number at your base. So, therefore, our final answer, x, is going to be 8, because we can't have um, our final answer at um, negative 9.